since my last video, I got fairy lights, so uh, I guess that just makes me one of the cliche YouTubers now, okay? I've conformed, I'm sorry. I've become one of the many, but I really like them, so go easy on me, okay? <laughs> Welcome to 2017, everybody. Happy New Year. I hope that you guys had a great holiday season with Christmas and eating lots of food and having no regrets and just sitting on your couch while eating all the food. That's the way to do Christmas. Calories and no exercise. And then that's why New Year's resolutions happen. <laughs> but speaking of, I realize that this video is a little bit late. Like I kind of can't really hop on the bandwagon of the whole like 2017 Yahoo, let's go this year. Uh, I can't do that because I'm a few days late, but because of that, I've been able to watch everybody else's videos where they're getting super geared up for this year, as well as talking to people in actual real day life, which is something that still happens apparently. You can have interactions other than on the internet, who knew? Their New Year's goals, I mean, they're, they're great. Okay, aspire to greatness, people. But like the bar is high this year. Can you meet me halfway? Let's lower it a little bit, okay? I can't do everything in one year. Like I can't work out every single day, get to sleep at a reasonable time, stop procrastinating, go skydiving, cure cancer. I can't do all that in one year. Give me more time. Aspirations are great. Aim high, folks. The Bible tells us to aim for perfection. So really having New Year's resolutions is, you know, biblical. Do you realize how many stupid things I do on a daily basis? See, that's the goal, I think, for me. This is the year, 2017. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, this is the year we do less stupid stuff. That is the goal we're gonna accomplish. Words of Katie Gregoire here. Hold me to this. This will be the year we learn to tie our headphones properly instead of shoving them in our pocket and regretting it later when you have to untangle it for an hour. 2017 will see the end of all of us pushing the already lit up elevator button again and again and again and again and again in a hope that the elevator will come faster. This will be the year that we learn to have a proper grocery schedule so that we have food in our house. Because spoiler alert, opening your refrigerator door a hundred times does not magically make food appear as much as you want it to. This will be the year that I successfully cease to push every single door that says pull on it. Ladies, 2017 is the year for us to stop doing our nails right before we either go to bed or have to do something with our hands. It doesn't end well. We never learn. This will be the year that all of us realize the impending danger that can be group iMessage chats. <laughs> to illustrate this point, I have an unfortunate story from my actual everyday life that happened last week. First off, my mother is a successful online blogger and she's been doing this blog since around 2008, which means that she has blog posts from 2008 when I would have been around 11 that consist of embarrassing things that happened in our everyday lives that she decided to write about that I have no clue are on the internet. But oh, they are there. See, my mother had found a particular post pertaining to me being 11 years old, her being on a monthly cycle thing that has to do with women, to put that delicately. <laughs> and her explained to me about these things, which is fine, okay? I've just accepted that my life is weird and there's weird things about me on the internet. I've accepted it. And so she just said that she would send this in a group text to us. However, what she failed to realize when she selected the group chat in her messages was that she was not only sending this to myself and my sister, she was sending this to myself, my sister, and one of my closest guy friends, who does not need to know anything about any part of that story. <laughs> All I saw on my phone was, me being 11, something about that happening and explaining and embarrassing things and his name on the group chat. And that was a sad day. I'm pretty sure my apology explanation text to my friend went something along the lines of, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I need to teach my mother how to use iMessage. Oh my goodness, bury me. <laughs> Luckily he's a champ and he weathered it fine and he didn't really care. But to me, it was not a great moment. <laughs> Let this just be a lesson to us as we head into 2017. Check who's on your group chat. And when you're done a group chat, delete it. And then that won't happen. All right, I feel like I've said some attainable New Year's resolutions. I feel great, okay? I'm all about self-improvement and aiming big, but I do feel like curing these little silly things I do in my everyday life will just help me be a less flawed individual, which is always the goal. Seriously though, I do have a great feeling about 2017. I'm so excited because this year I get to travel more and I've started to rearrange my schedule so I have more time for YouTube because I love doing this. I didn't get to do as much of it last year as I wanted to, so I'm hoping that as I feel like every YouTuber, I'm gonna do that cliche, woohoo, more videos coming, more content. Yeah, I've got fairy lights now. So obviously I'm totally legit, okay? It's every week, every week a video. Oh gosh, I, there's no way. I will be better and I will be, I will be. I will not push elevator buttons over and over again and I will be better at uploading videos. Thanks so much for watching everybody. And as always, until the next time I see you, have a great life. Don't be stupid or make bad decisions.